All right. Let's reload my gun. All right, where? Let's see, G as in G Wiz. Let me pull in my uh, thingy map. Where's my map? Um, go over here. Some kind of wait, shit. No, I need to mark it. Does this dude always move like he's got to take a dump? Yes, he does. Uh, whenever you're in a location where, um, basically, whenever you're in a location where your where your movement is restricted, he does like that weird little jog. Like this walking speed is fine, but when he's like in a tight little corner, he just goes like, I guess I can't show it here, but you saw it. Hey, Roman Nomad, how's it going? All right, so I cleared most of these streets already, so we're good on that front. Um, I don't think I explored. No, I did go north of here. So there shouldn't be too many enemies lurking around. Uh, I think because I th oh got another ping. Oh wait, shit, that's not how you do it. It's because he has the evil with it. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love you for that. Oh, there's a thing right here. Wait. Oh, come on. We can figure out this box talk technology. It's a very grandiose, uh, kneeling down there to pick up four handgun bullets. Let's see. Got our green jelly. Man, that joke comes, like, right on the heels of, uh, spicy food discourse this morning. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I was over around here last time. What does this guy have? Bottle. Oh! Oh, she didn't see- Oh, now she- there we go. Oh shit. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh. oh, what? There's so many. Here, we got an axe. One hit, one kill. There we go. All right, they are down. He had Pizza Hut discourse at work this morning. <laughs> are, are you pro or, or uh, against uh, Pizza Hut? It used to be one of my favorites. And there used to be one like right down the street from my house. So I would get it all the time. But uh, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I used to. There's so much food discourse just constantly on the Twitter feed. <laughs> see. Equip communicator. And tune. So I guess the thing I'm curious about is that, um, so the people in here, I, I'm, if I remember correctly, they're not aware of the fact that they're in a little matrix world. Um, so the train is the only way out of here, apparently, because I guess they, they're also seeing that the, all the roads lead to nowhere because it's basically like a Resident Evil type scenario. Um... Or are they aware that they're in the simulation, like, and that somehow this is the only way to get out? But that doesn't make sense, so I'm just going to guess it's the former. And you like it enough to, to order and deal with the consequences the next day. I don't particularly remember Pizza Hut uh, giving me stomach issues the next day. I know 
I mean, at least the ones in my area, because I know like each little individual store um, has little differences here and there. Uh, the one near my house was always like super, not super greasy, like freaking. Um, like if you watch an Invader Zim episode, and you see like all the grease coming off of, like Gur's face. <laughs> it's not like that bad, but out of the pizzas in the area, it's um, it's it's relatively the greasiest. Uh, you have a bit of lactose intolerance. Oh, yeah, they'll they'll do it. That will definitely do it. Go. Honestly, I'm doing so good on resource management that I'm not really crafting much stuff. And I know you can like craft on the fly, but you. you whoa! What the. Okay, you know what? I listened to a podcast, and apparently you can get a sneak hit on these guys. Um, oh, no. Do not walk towards me. Please. Okay, just hurt. Wait, shit, I have bottles. Yeet! Wait, no, didn't hear the yeet. Now it heard the yeet. Can I get a sneak hit? I could have sworn they said on the podcast that you can. Oh, yes! Okay, so that's one. Shit. Oh, I think it's like summoning others. Shit. Okay. Uh, dip. Oh, I use all my spirit juice. Damn it. Okay, shit. Damn it. Oh, I am I am mega dead. I am so dead. Damn it. Damn it. Hey, four bullets. Oh. I made it out of there alive. So you have to pick and choose your battles if you're lactose intolerance with no real cure for it. I know um, my sister, my older sister, has a bit of lactose intolerance. And so there's just like certain foods where she's willing to bite the bullet on it. Uh, just because she, she likes the taste enough, I guess. Um, field crafting, medical. I do have syringes. Um, but I had a co-worker who's like just so... Uh, allergic to um, the dairy in general, I guess. That, um, like, cause she, she works in a grocery store. Like, she could not work the dairy section of the store. Like, she couldn't be in the back room cooler. Because even just having it in the air, even if it's, like, packaged like that, was enough to, uh, to get an allergic reaction out of her. So I, I don't envy that. She had it really bad, though. Uh, Corey just finished the demo, and it was good. Why won't those things die? <laughs> I am very glad that I... That dude's totally gonna get up. Um, I forgot that I have this. I'm not gonna bug you, because I don't have much for ammo. Where'd that... Oh, it did die. I didn't realize that. You know what? I am gonna mess with this guy, then. One. Two. Oh, shit. Um, that's not good. Fire at that at the ground. There we go. Da, 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 da. And there's enemies in here. Shit. Mm, I might have to. Craft some bullets. I don't want to. I'm going to, I guess. Man, that's taking up way more than I would like. <laughs> Shit. Let's give myself three bullets. That's it. I'm not doing any more. I'm greedy. And thankfully, it's just 
What? Oh, I'm stuck in here with it? What? Shit, I already wasted one. Oh! I didn't know you could do that. That there's like contextual little melee hits you can do. Okay. Uh, le lesson learned. So you got a couple of ice cream sandwiches in your freezer. Those are worth it. Ice cream sandwiches are so good. It's not even fair. Let's see sniper rifle parts. So I can fix that. Sniper rifle. And uh, yeah, the uh, next weekend's the castle level. I can't wait to um, give that a shot. I guess you'll probably go off on uh, your more specific um, thoughts on the demo on. Uh, I was going to say on Sunday, I guess that's tomorrow for the podcast, if uh, you're able to make it. But, um, let's see, sniper rifle. Uh, do you, you have any quick thoughts on it, Corey? Did you, how you liked it overall? Let's craft. Damn, yeah, it literally takes like twice as many resources to craft if you're not using a, um, a station. That sucks. Um, uh, crafting uh, up and upgrades. I need to get my headshot capability going. That requires that and a whole buttload of weapon parts, which I don't have. Five hundred. Yeah, can't really afford much. Okay. Well, we got a sniper rifle now. Uh, that's what we get for being good little explorers. Uh, call me Dora, I guess. Uh, let's see. Corey's quick thoughts. It's gorgeous, and the motion capture is very well done, All and the enemies are scary difficult. Yeah, I... Like, what? In that first encounter, I guess you have 20, 20 bullets or whatever, but um, it, it didn't feel like it. Like, I, I think I killed the first enemy eventually with headshots. Because, like, the impression I got from the mercenaries thing that they were showing off, uh, that, that body shots were going to be more effective. But, yeah, it was, uh, it was hard. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have enough ammo to, to kill all of them. Had a knife fight, two of them, and that went horribly. But, thankfully, now we know, um, you don't have to fight those enemies. You can just run past into, uh... The house with uh, Elena and uh, Werewolf Dad, I guess. Let's see, herb. You know what? I should heal. Definitely heal. Yeah, her dad would not die. You, you uh, I shot him a bit. She shot him. He caught on fire, and then he caught on fire again. Wait, you found a landmine and a shotgun? And it didn't make a difference. Where the heck did you get a landmine and a shotgun? I didn't find. I couldn't even craft more uh, handgun ammo. You are apparently a better scavenger than me. Whoops, I don't need that equipped. Granted, I, I was. I would say I was in a rush to kind of like get through the content because I didn't want to waste my 30 minutes or anything like that. Um. So you're getting yanked in a family video call. Sorry to drop, but hope you have a good stream. Yeah, thanks, Roman, for uh, stopping by. Hope you have yourself a good night, man. And yeah, yeah, apparently you're just better at finding resources than me, Corey. Jeez. But, um, yeah, I'm going to, like, crazy be um, obsessing over, like, exploring every little corner. Even even not even just necessarily for resources, but for um, just soaking, like, all the world details and whatnot. Oh, Ish was timing you and rushing you through the demo. <laughs> oh, these are all going to get up. I don't like that. Um, that dude's missing an arm. Got to be resources around here, right? Evidently not. Oh, you know what? Shock arrows you have to use in order to get doors open. Uh, incentive not to use them just as pure ammunition, I guess. 
Uh, what key did I put it on? Four. Let's just yeet that. Oh, this guy's gonna get up, right? Or those? Oh no, I guess this guy isn't. Oh! Damn it! Ah, I knew it! Ooh. One shot, one kill. Happy with that. Point a freaking trick on me like that. <laughs> okay. Door's locked. Window secure. Power disabled. Nothing's getting in here. Not even you, Hayes! Find yourself another safe house! This place is locked tight! Understand? Shit. This is so fucked. Didn't sign up for this. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay. You're locked in, man. Just gotta wait it out. What the fuck was that sound? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that sound. That's the bad sound. That's, that's big spooky. Oh, you know what? Uh, these enemies are going to get up at some point or another. So let's just get this out of the way, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really clue you in. Uh, to the fact that you can pull contextual melee attacks, so let's abuse that. Only once their little uh, face worms are out, I guess. I guess I'm just a fan of face worms. Better than regular worms. Yeah, I had no idea. Like, I've played through this game twice, and I didn't know that contextual melee attacks were a thing. Like, there's no button prompts for it or anything. Um, let's have some coffee. It has the power to, uh, restore your health and make your, uh, and make your next morning a long uh, bathroom break. <laughs> Hidden little secrets, yeah. Cause, like, even in, uh, Resident Evil 4, like, such a... Such, such like a pillar of like the combat uh, loop was stun an enemy with like a bullet and then go heavy into uh, abusing melee attacks, whether it's the knife or contextual stuff. Uh, but it, it is like super obvious about like enemies have like crazy over exaggerated stun animations, and then there's literally just like press A to suplex enemy. <laughs> um, yeah, better than butt worms from the game inside. <laughs> I think those are just called tapeworms. <laughs> I have yet to play inside. I need to, though. Uh, let's see. Reports. Blah, blah, blah. Recruits. Number of applicants received through the Moo Centers has surpassed that at the medical testing front. Registering the Moo Centers is a tax-free religious institution has increased revenue, but we've, but we've used to render expansions to accommodate the influx of new recruits. Mr. Wallace's use of narrow linguistic programming creates recruits that are far more mentally malleable and stable than previous STEM candidates. Moose Center recruits are also willing to voluntarily cut off familial ties, which eases the pressure on Mobius operatives working in law enforcement. No more pesky missing persons reports to file. That is sh shady stuff. It is my recommendation that Moose Center recruitment becomes the Mobius standard for all new citizens. It has been a resounding success. Uh, freaking dystopian government. Not, I guess basically government agency at this point. Um, dystopian government agency going to dystopian government agency it up, I guess. Let's see. Love that coffee is health in this game. It's such a campy detective move. Yeah, man. It's, uh, we need donuts and stuff, too. Hey, kitty cat. That is such a good cat. I love you. I'm a sucker for cats. Let's see. I do have weapon parts to upgrade. I believe my sniper, but... I'd rather save it for my pistol at the moment. Let's see what we can get for our uh, our brain our brain goop. Best gato. I don't remember where I was reading it, but how may I assist you? I guess it's a thing that when cats poop, they have like some weird some weird parasite thing or whatever. And so when whenever it's just sitting there, it floats around and it. Because, you know, whenever you smell something, it's, it's because particles are 
physically like entering your nose. And there's something about there's those little particles from the cat poop. They you condition you to like her. cats more. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Add some combat skills. I don't want to. Those are those are poo poo. Um, low profile. Probably focus on recovery, I guess. Get more health when using healing items. Yeah, I should focus on that. Need more green gel, I guess. See, it looks like the uh, crafting bench in Metro Exodus. I've only played Metro Exodus once, so I don't recall, to be quite honest. And yeah, that, that's that's pretty evil. Cats are literally um, making you subconsciously um, adore them more by pooping and infecting your brain with their poop. Like, I, I can totally be talking out of my ass right now, but... I, I I recall reading this in a uh, not necessarily a scholarly article, but it wasn't like a shit posting website or anything. I I recall that. Huh. Looks like it's locked by some sort of password. Okay, so we can't use this yet because I believe you come back here as part of the main story. Oh, why couldn't I eat the door? It makes, yeah, suddenly it makes sense why people used to worship them. They, they literally took over the world with their poop. Good shit, good shit right there. <laughs> oh, is there something here, though, is the question. Open parts. Bottle. I don't know why my frame rate's acting up a little bit. This game is not like super graphically demanding, and I'm on a freaking uh, 3080. Oh! What the fuck? Oh! That was not cool. <laughs> uh. So, Agent Egyptians huffed cat shit. Yep. Exactly. Don't know I expect anything else. Facts. Uh, sh that is entirely way too many enemies for me right now. There's a whole freaking mob of them. Is there anything else on the map I can do? Uh, no. Not really. I guess I didn't really go over here. Uh, let's, let's go do some more side exploring, I guess. There we go, yep. More stuff to do still. That house is got some weird distortion on it. Looks like it's in the garage. Uh, flashlights. I know it's in there, I just don't want to go in there yet. And do some exploring. That goes outside, right? Yep. Eat. Metal pipe. And parts. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my frame rate right now. What the fuck? Let's fix that. Yeah, it's locked at 60. Let's disable V-Sync, see what that does. Yeah, a lot smoother. Don't know why I'm only getting, like... Man, what's up with the frame rate with this? I'm only getting, like, 86? 90? 100? Uh, KCBD request for psychological evaluation. Uh, Detective Sergeant Castellanos, following the events of Beacon Mental Hospital in October 2014, a department policy requires that you undergo a mandatory psychological evaluation. Please report to the Standards and Training Division to schedule your fitness for duty evaluation. Dwayne Wright, Police Psychological Services. Handwritten a note. Sebastian, this is nothing to worry about. Just take a few boxes, answer a few questions. SOP. What the fuck does SOP stand for? Shit overpowered 
sign of peace. Maybe he just misspelled soap. He's trying to tell Sebastian he stinks like shit. You know what? I can't see my full chat for whatever reason. Let me scroll down. Get back to that. Jose playing State of Decay takes on a whole horde by himself while being loud as fuck. <laughs> Jose playing Evil Within. Enemy scary. <laughs> that is exactly me. Please don't let the ring girl jump out of here. Oh, what the? I don't think I've ever seen this when I played previously. Could you please tell me about that day at Beacon Mental Hospital? I told you ten times already. Let's go through it one more time. This is more like an interrogation than an interview. Please. Detective. That's me. Um, always disable V-Sync even if your monitor supports it. Go to your NVIDIA controls and turn V-Sync off as well. Uh, the specific reason I had it on is uh, my monitor does have G-Sync, which is supposed to get rid of screen tearing at a um, at a monitor level, so you don't have to bother with V-Sync, and you don't have you don't have to deal with like any input lag. Um, it, it's a little bit of a streaming issue where if your game's not is isn't running at it like an interval of thirty, so uh, thirty, sixty, uh, one twenty. Sometimes you can have some issues with that. Um, I have I've had to deal with that for Rainbow Six Siege, and there was a, I think Resident Evil, some Resident Evil I was streaming. Uh, file fifteen: Psychiatric Assessment of Detective Sebast Sebastian Castellanos. While cleared of any wrongdoing in the disappearances of Detective Oda and Junior Detective Kidman, Detective Cassiano's statements about the Beacon Mental Hospital incident have been vague and evasive. Initially reluctant to speak to a mental health specialist, Detective Cassianos eventually opened up about what happened that day. It is my expert opinion that he is suffering from paranoid delusions. The recent death of his daughter, combined with whatever happened at Beacon, seems to have fractured his grip on reality. It is my recommendation that Detective Cassianos, in the parentheses, the bottom half of the paper has been torn off. Uh, that's a cover up by Mobius. I do play Siege on PC. I would like to think I'm somewhat decent at it on PC. I don't really play competitive, though, to be honest. All set up by Mobius. Okay, so there's still stuff to explore in this house, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and add you. I can't promise I play multiplayer games super often. Um, previously, I th so I've been playing Siege like the last couple days, but before that, it's it's been like a hot minute since I was playing. Nope, can't eat it. It closed. I would like to eat. Wait, what? Is it this door? No. This room keeps... This whole house keeps changing on me. Um, that's locked also. Oh! There was a ghost. What the fuck? Something I didn't. He knew everything. So you don't play often, but you're working on a video called the Siege Unranked Experience, where we've compiled people team killing you, calling you racist and homophobic names. Yeah, the Siege community on PC, especially yeah, unranked, he... can be a uh, pretty trash. Um. Oh shit. But yeah, by default, I kind of turn a uh, text box and um. 
I guess just chat, uh, both text and voice chat, I turn off by default because I just don't want to deal with people. Like, obviously, like, yeah, it's a team game, you need to communicate, but it's like, if I'm done with a day of work, I don't want to deal with some freaking eight-year-old calling me the N-word. It's not a fun time. Oh, I got a slide. I can watch that with a kitty cat. That's all flashback stuff to uh, Evil Within Uno. Beacon. I can't be back. Evidently, we are. It's all in your mind, Sebastian. Gotta use your imagination. There's, uh... Not... Fuck, what's his name? Joseph. Joseph from the first game. Or is that... No, that's us. I don't know why I thought it was Joseph. Us with our nice little vest from the first game. Oh. Oh! I do not want to deal with that boss again. <laughs> Too scary. What the hell is going on? That person has a knife in them, evidently. Were those just memories? Never forgets, and that's the uh, symbol for beacon right there. What do you want? Sebastian, are you all right? Nope. Your vitals suddenly spiked. You're about to go into cardiac arrest. I saw a beacon. I was there again. How could that be? This is a completely new stem. I don't know. But I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. Well, I imagine the reason why it's in here is because everyone's consciousnesses are kind of colliding. Gotta find Lily. So even though this is like Lily's world, everyone is still contributing on some level. Um, even if it's more minute in comparison. Okay. Let's explore... Uh, right around here, I want to say. I have not been over here. This is where the... This is the mansion in. Oh! Oh no. No 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 no. Nope. 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 I am getting the fuck out of there. Not dealing with that. Not having it. Okay. Let's see if I can stealth kill. Um, shit, should I try to get that stealth hit on it? Probably. A free hit, anyway. I just don't want to be stuck in there with, like, uh, with, with only, like, so little sprint, like last time. That's where I kind of got screwed over. Maybe I should try to take out everyone else first. That's probably the better choice. Let's do that. They seem to be kind of locked into what they're doing, so that works for me. One down. So you're gonna drop out, take a nap. Uh, you're a third shifter, but working this morning through your, off your sleep schedule. Well, hey, thanks for uh, stopping by on the stream, and hope you have a good nap. Good to uh, regenerate. I I just um, recently swapped from being third shift over to um, the first shift. So yeah, it's 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 a hell of a difference. Oh shit, I'm on fire. Um, stealth kill. Oh, you know what? 
We can still get both of these guys. We just need to distract both of them. Right here. Draw one away. There we go. That's strategic thinking. Alright, later, uh, man. Thanks for hanging out. Yeet! Okay, we're doing pretty good at this whole stealth thing. Ah, uh, shit, 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 shit. So there's one over there. The big dude, little dude, and then I th here's a couple more over there, but they're more isolated. Shit. Ah, no, 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 you don't see me. Here, let's... Do that. Bottles are our best friend in this game. No, turn around. Come on. Still got it. Apparently can't stab them in the head if you don't get their belly first. That that's an enemy's true weakness is the belly. It's like a cat. Like I don't know, I see a cat and I think, wow, it's a soft it's a soft belly, gotta pet it. Cats generally don't like that. They fucking hate it. They will they will fuck you up. Alright, we gotta dip. Damn it. Nope. I said dip, not get hit. Two radically different things. Can we stab? Oh shit. Oh, I don't like acid. Thank you, though. I don't do drugs. I'm a good boy. You. Oh! oh, that could have been bad. So glad I invested in that skill, though. Shit. Out of ammo. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Reload. Thrashed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we survived. Probably should have taken some more dudes out stealth-wise, but, uh... We're alive. Uh, let's heal again. There we go. Damn. Damn, we heal so much more now, too. So, I am thankful for that. Just grab the key. Why are your eyes still oh I stabbed you. Okay, you're you're still dead. That's good. Let's see. There's a light over here, it means there's something of interest. And just a lot of dead bodies. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's take that counter off the map. It's going over here anyway. Yeah, incredibly happy I invested in, um, yeah, bottle break attack. So, so basically if someone, like, goes to grab me, I can use one of my expendable bottles to, to break that grab. Hey, it's Ghost Lily. Communicator, tune in. Are these lilies? Those are indeed tiny hands. Eat. Lily? Are you here? It's all old timey in here. Oh, where did she go? All of the prints. Apparently, in Lily. <laughs> I like how it just glows. It's okay. It's me. Embrace the yeet, Sebastian. Damn it. All right, calm down. How do I get in there? 
And the camera just directly positions towards the solution. Why this would actually exist in a, in a building, I don't know. But it's convenient for my purposes. Ooh. Let's see, take... Oh, she left her doll. She's been here. Lily possesses the power of first person, apparently. Must play a lot of Call of Duty. For your Roomba. <laughs> Gotta get in there somehow. Lily's a pretty resourceful kid. She's in trouble. Someone is chasing her. Probably watched a lot of horror movies. See where that window comes out. Eat. I will say that for every single door that I eat. As is law. As is tradition. Is there something out there? Oh, freaking zooming in, just take I know. The blinds are still there. Eat. Surprised there's no enemies. Investigate. All right, Lily. Where did you run off to? Oh. We have to pull out our little ghost radio. Can't even move right now. What the? Another Apparently, signal. over there. Good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. All right, let's go over there, I suppose. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I remember. They're not dogs. They're um, creepy crawly dudes. And I barely have, I, I only have like sniper ammo, I think. Oh, yeah, I had an axe. Oh shit, reload. Not dead. Are you dead? Yes. Glad I got that sniper rifle, holy shit. Alright, um, and I forgot how much this game forces you to rely on, um, rely on crafting ammo. <laughs> Probably just gonna keep making pistol ammo because it's the cheapest one. <laughs> I love that name. Connor McGregor's pubes. <laughs> I love you for that. That that is great. Let's see. Oh. Getting that's oh, over here. Let's hey, Lily. Again. Where are you? Oh hey, thanks for the uh raid, uh was that uh Ari Horrified. Sorry, my eyesight's Where? terrible <laughs> on my second monitor. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the raid. Let's see, gotta follow Lily's tracks. This kid has no trajectory for where she's gonna be going. Hey, Empress Vey. Thanks for watching. Um, okay, so this is where she wound up. A few days old. Is this Chris's blood? Man, can't... freaking Corey is always the champ. Corey is the best. He's one of the best friends anyone could ask for. He's incredibly generous. 
Yeah, Evil Within 2 is a, is just like an incredible freaking game, and um, I'm just actively enjoying every second of it. This guy's going to come up and get me, right? Can we agree on that? Yep. Oh, how did the... Okay, I am... There we go. <laughs> Yeah, Evil Sin 2 is a game I can just, like, completely wholeheartedly recommend to basically everyone. Like, obviously, if you're not in a horror, don't play it. But if you like action games, like, yeah, I would say still play it. Uh, Evil Sin 1 is far more of a tougher recommendation to just kind of put out. Uh, I desperately need ammo. Let's go back to that workbench area. Yeah, Cory's the best. I will use the, uh, is this Chris's blood at, like, every opportunity that I can. So let's go ahead and craft some stuff. Um, I don't think I can get much weapon upgrades. I don't think I really need much. Um, I want to be greedy and try to save up my points for that. Because that's going to turn our pistol into, like, a freaking headshot machine. But I do need bullets. Uh, let's make 16. That should get us pretty far. You freaking Rambo up in here. Yeah, it's um, it's it's weird the way that that um, headshots work in this game because obviously you know if you shoot an enemy in the head, like you think like, oh yeah, headshot, but it's not a, it's not a insta kill. Uh, and the percentage by default in both Evil Within 1 and 2, it's, uh, or, I'm sorry, the Evil Within 1, you have a 0% chance of getting, like, an insta-kill headshot. In uh, 2, you have a 1%, so basically 0. Um, so it's, like, one of the best upgrades you can do early on. And the game doesn't really communicate, doesn't, uh, communicate that to you in a really efficient manner. But once you do get it, it's 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 insane. You you just turn into a murder machine with what's supposed to be the uh, the weakest weapon in the game. And pl plus, like yeah, just the head pops are great. It's like it's the visual explosion of it. It's the sound effects. It's uh it's beautiful. If it, Resident Evil's always been really good about that. And this being from the same, um, well, this isn't the same director as uh, Resident Evil's one and four, but the first Evil Within was. Yeah, I kind of do prefer Seb's voice in uh, in the first game. It was more uh, fit more of like a grindhouse vibe, and uh, it was definitely cheesier. I, th I think like this one's probably the overall better emotional performance, but I, s I still prefer the first to be honest. It looks like she stopped here to hide. Damn, Lily Short. I know she's a kid, but damn. Oh, you know what? This is the area we explored a bit earlier. And we already wiped out all the enemies, so... We good. Let's see. Because you can explore most of the places in here, like, way earlier than you're supposed to. But they kind of like artificially gate off your progress. Like, like there's, oh shit. Shit. You're just like an artificial little piece of wood. You couldn't move over for whatever reason. It's, it's like super artificial gating. <laughs> How did you die? Did you? Where'd you fall from? That, that is a very odd angle to die at, my dude. Uh, Ari is just about to get into Resident Evil series for the first time, and he and you're stoked for her to experience it. Uh, where where are they starting off at? Yeah, I I am always happy to get more people into Resident Evil and just Resident Evil like games. Honestly, even the um, remakes of two and three are probably the most ex most accessible way to jump into it. A lot of people nowadays pr is probably going to be a bit of a rough transition to like jump into um, the remake of Resident Evil One. So I th I think like yeah, the remakes of two and three would probably be my recommendation if I were to do so. Honestly, I would say Resident Evil Four because it's 
it's my personal favorite in the entire series, but a lot of people still have an issue with the tank controls. But they're going to be remaking that too anyway, I guess. Eat. And eat. Grab stuff. Should be able to get to 360 for that pistol uh, upgrade relatively soon. I still need a, was it high or high tier weapon upgrade kit, bolt, whatever, in order to get to that though. So even if I do get the 360, I'm still gated off in that regard. Eat. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake is definitely on the list. Don't know exactly when she's going to jump in from what she wants. Some um, Resident Evil under her belt before 8. Let's see. If, if, if I was going to make like a short list for contemporary Resident Evil, I would definitely say RE2 Remake 7? That, that'd be like the short list. Um, the 3 Remake's really good too. It's just not, it's just more of like a linear action. And four. Th those would be like, yeah, that, that's a pretty good contemporary list. And then maybe dive into the Resident Evil 1 remake. Just to like know where the series came from, I guess. Yeet. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought he was about to slap me. Got an axe out of it, though. Actually, you know what? Seven, I'd probably push to the top of the queue on that, just because it's going to play the most like eight, even just purely from the uh, first person perspective. And uh, what from from what I played from the dem, but yeah, from what I played from the demo tonight, um, uh, if. Eight is gonna feel a lot more actiony than than seven in terms of like just pure controller feel. Uh, core displacements, uh, infrastructure reports, fifteen oh one seismic trigger event this afternoon. System checkup revealed dis disengagement of core. Sent recovery team for preliminary scouts. Report filed to Mobius HQ shortly before outside contact lost. Core tracking unsuccessful. Minor temporal temporal displacement, but no major structural damage. Citizenry beginning to make call center inquiries. Core still offline. Minor fissures forming in city hall area. Citizenry remaining calm, but unease is growing. Losing atmospheric control. Temperature drops in double digits. Another seismic trigger. City hall fissure becoming critical. Separation imminent if core isn't restored. Mobius Alpha team has arrived to aid in core search. Okay. Oh, that's exactly what I freaking needed that uh, high grade weapon part. Uh, just so I'm not tempted to spend it elsewhere, let's just totally spend that right now. Yeet! Alright, so now, yeah, now I just need the 360, um, weapon parts, I guess. Resident Evil 1 and 0 are also pretty good. Resident Evil 1 is a must. I'm... I would, may, I would disagree on 0, but that's just me. I... Actually, you know what? I think Zero is a good game that has one very annoying component, and that is it doesn't have an item box. So you're constantly, like, dropping items and weapons and whatnot on the floor. So you're just, like, constantly having to backtrack to where you, to where you left stuff. So if you're doing, like, too good in the game, you have too many resources, you literally have to, like go back and forth to carry your inventory throughout the game as you progress. Other than that, Zero is pretty good. I like the the uh, two the two players, or not two player, but the two character setup. All out of water. Some sort of purple suit, dude. That's the worst kind of suit, dude.
Damn, Lily's pretty damn good at hiding, though. Oh. Okay, see, that that's cheating, though. Dude literally teleported from the exit Murder over to the there. And the son of a bitch has my little girl. I was so close. Damn it. Calm down. Think. I gotta save her. No more signals coming into this communicator. I need to find another way. O'Neill. Not sure I can trust him. But he wants out of here as bad as I want to find Lily. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Can you hear me? Sebastian? Is that you? You're breaking up. <sighs> Shit. Not now. Maybe it'll work better outside. Sorry about that. Grabbing a backup drink. It's because I'm also running out of my uh, energy drink. It's also zero sugar, so not as bad. I don't feel as guilty about it whenever I drink it. But V8. Couldn't stand it at first, thought it was disgusting. It has grown on me. It's a healthy drink. Relatively healthy. It's still got a lot of... What does it have a lot of? 40% sodium, so not great in that regard. But it is veggies. Yeah, um, Resident Evil 7 is... Uh, it's totally a brand new phase of the series. I absolutely agree with that. Um, I think it's infinitely scarier, just like purely, th um, purely in regards that it's just first person. First person is kind of inherently scarier. You're closer to the action, and your mobility is like severely limited, especially if you're playing on a controller. You're not able to like spin around and just like run from enemies while having complete situational awareness. Um, and you're kind of forced to block attacks versus doing dodges. So you you got to let enemies hit you in, in some regard, even if you're mitigating some of the damage. What about V1 through 7? <laughs> you got to ask the, uh, the fate of the Furious over there. Cat, what are you doing? literally have a scratching post over there and you decide to scratch at the at the carpet is this what we're doing we're making bad cat decisions go go be good cat healthy boundaries jose over here i don't know about that one i i could still stand to eat a little bit better Man, my cats are always getting in trouble. It's, it's usually not that one. It's, it's the other one. But he's been acting up a bit lately. I, I blame on having a bad role model in the house. There you are. But where's Lily? Can't let him get away again. Oh, am I supposed to stalk him? I thought he was just gonna like disappear after a quick minute. Hey! You! The girl! Where is she? Oh. I see what he's doing there. And he's spawning more monsters in. More spooky monsters at that. Fuck. Oh shit. Uh, hide in the bushes. Nope, they already see me. Are you- you're not dead yet. Shit. Get up! <laughs> is that the Thin Man? I'm not sure if he's THE Thin Man, but he is most definitely Thin. This is- this is true. Oh, shit. Shit. What's even the head? This thing has like a million heads on it. How am I supposed to get headshots like this? Oh. How many are... Oh, you know what? Let's get it into the fire over here. Oh, shit. Ah. There we go. 
corner myself behind a crate. Brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. Sometimes I have good strategies. Most of the times I don't. Hope I can reach O'Neill this time. Fire is my friend when it works. Fire is not my friend in the majority of cases. You're still alive. I mean, you're still alive. Good. Were you able to locate the core? No, but I know who has her, and he's got powers like nothing else in here. But I lost him. I think I can help you out with that. I picked up a frequency I've never seen before. It's coming from City Hall. Great. Where's that? Look up. Do you see a building with a big clock tower? Yeah. Oh, it's literally in the freaking sky. How in the hell am I supposed to get up there? It's a bit complex. Come back here, I can explain. Right. I'm on my way. Let's uh let's do some ASMR opening this can. Probably not as poppy and satisfying. Because it's not carbonated. Oh, they are repopulating this entire map. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm already low on ammo. No, no bueno. Shit. Um, I'm going to close some background tasks because it seems to be slowing my crap down and I don't like that. Uh, don't know why I have Amazon Music open. I don't know why I use Amazon Music in general. I, the entire world has embraced Spotify, and I'm just here chilling with uh, Amazon Music, apparently. Close these out. Yeah, so some games just don't like being captured by uh, Streamlabs for whatever godforsaken reason. Like even my regular capture method wasn't um, wasn't working for this. Where it's just it's just kind of set by default to automatically capture any full screen application, and this it would just was not detecting it. So I had to like specifically go into the properties and tell it look for this specific window. So I would imagine that's causing some some of the performance issues. Not you. You, you use uh, YouTube Music courtesy of Ish. How is that? Can you like actually, does it like function the same or do you have to like individually look up videos and stuff or is it basically just Spotify? There are so many enemies. It also means there's just so many opportunities to uh, to get more green gel, so. Oh no, 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 not you. Not you. Basically, like Spotify. How much is YouTube Music anyway? You know, it's actually weird to think about it, because YouTube is owned by Google. Is that why they're not, ca or aren't they taking down like um, Google Play Music or whatever? So I guess that's kind of um, their equivalent now. Uh, I don't think I have enough parts. Crafting. Gonna need a lot of handgun bullets for this fight. Let's just kit ourselves out. I really don't want to spend more than I really have to on this stuff. Because I'm already running low on gunpowder. Um, we can make a lot of harpoon bolts, though. Everything else kind of takes gunpowder, so I'm not necessarily down for that. But we can make a shit ton of harpoon bolts. What key? There we go. Uh, generally best always save an electricity for opening doors, so that's a contingency plan. Not gonna use it as like a main line of defense. See, it's part of uh, YouTube Premium. You know what? Granted, it looks like how much I freaking use. Uh, YouTube, you would imagine that I would have YouTube Premium or Red, whatever it's called, unless that's like a separate thing. But what is it? It's like five bucks a month, I want to say. I think my Amazon Unlimited plan is 70 bucks a year. Shit, I need to try to get a headshot with this. Let's see if I can yeet. Oh. 
Okay, let's uh make this let's get this dough. Make this money. Get that stealth hit. Nope, 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 nope. Shit. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Okay, we gotta use that electricity. Wait, there we go. We have broke they can't see us now. That went so god awful wrong. Jesus. Uh damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, stealth. Probably not a great option against those. Shit. Go away. Oh damn, that thing has freaking I am backing myself into a corner. That's not great. Okay, so it does have limited range, but... Are you dead? Damn, this thing took up all my freaking ammo. Yeah, I imagine a family plan would definitely be cheaper. I think, um... Because my girlfriend does, she has Spotify, but she gets it... I think through Hulu? Or no, I think she gets Hulu through her Spotify plan, so like modifying that in any way would cancel that out. So she kind of just has her own thing going for that, I guess. Granted, she pays for like all the uh, streaming services because uh, she already had them when we were starting dating and I didn't have any of them. Or I was just mooching off a friend like uh, for stuff like Crunchyroll. Uh... Yeah, I, I was very proud of that headshot. Thank you. Stealth kill. I don't know if I would necessarily call this a discount, The Last of Us. I, I, th I would say, like, the only things they really have in common are... Um, rough white dude with a gun trying to save his daughter. <laughs> Uh, th there was a whole extended period of gaming where it's just like totally relying on that trope. I don't... Technically, the first Last of Us came out first. Like, that was 2013. Evil Within 1 came out 20... If it did come out 2013, it was with the new consoles, which was fall of 2013. Uh, Last of Us was like July of that year. June or July, something like that. And then Last of Us 2 came out 2020, and this game came out 2016, I want to say. 16 or 17. Oh, shotgun ammo. I I would argue that this game controls better than uh, The Last of Us, at least the first one. Because the second Last of Us has a lot of good uh, stealth um, that you can pull off, especially like in regards to like how it, I don't want to say copies Metal Gear Solid, but it has a lot of the same tactics that you can do in there. It has a much greater emphasis on it. Man, I am running super low on uh, ammo. It's not good. See, what is O'Neill? I know, can't we? Oh, yeah, let's get our freaking health back with coffee. <laughs> Ellie, gotta save Ellie. Where's Ellie? Ellie is a grown ass woman in the second game, and she can make her own decisions. Whether those are good decisions or not, they're up to you to decide. Because, <laughs> man, some of those are freaking. Bad, 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 bad decisions. You made it here okay. Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are their tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate from what you see. That doesn't make any sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. But it's a maze down there. If you take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. 
Where's this Meryl that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location. <laughs> it's in the North Safe House. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You could have told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Deadly gas Thanks leaks sounds like a night after Taco you know, Bell. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? Gas mask. Cool. Um, but yeah, I, I love it when like any piece of me media just has like freaking doesn't necessarily have to be like techno jargon, but just like in universe jargon for the way things work. And you can ju it just like my brain automatically dismisses it is just it's uh, just uh, it's just babble in that universe. Like, you know what it does. You're, like, don't think about it too much. Was that door there before? But whenever a character like in the within the universe of it um, kind of acknowledges it is pretty funny. Hey, kitty cat. That is a pretty cat. That is a pretty kitty. Um, I'll save the slides for later just because it's Sebastian and kid talking. I believe the cat is supposed to bring you. All right, no. We are going to listen to these because the cat gives you stuff for uh, listening to them. And I would like to have more stuff. More stuff is good. <gasps> the cat's shadow is on it. Go on. <gasps> Don't tell the cat to move. Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? Beacon. My life was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Rubik's head like that. I haven't been. I think it's supposed to be like three years or something after the first mind, game. But my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't have to remind me. I was there too. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Maybe. But if I wasn't with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out. And now I'm in another stem. I really We're hope they bring Ruvik you. back. Because he's just completely I hope and totally in the wind after the events of Evil Sin 1. You still up, Kidman? Now rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. Fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having. Why did they take her? I can't answer that, Sebastian. I know you don't believe in coincidence. Uh, maybe you see a pattern. You know that some crimes just happen. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. Regardless, the fire, it wasn't your fault that and you didn't lose Lily because of it. Man, I, like, going back to play... I think it's worth playing the Evil Within 1 Thanks, after kid. playing the Evil Within 2 because you can appreciate so much of what they set up um, plot-wise within the Evil Within 1 that it has like nothing to do with like the Evil Within 1 where you get into like Sebastian's past but it, like no one ever really talks about it or brings it up. It's just like these expository oh, notes and whatnot. How may I assist you? I would like to open some safes. Am I just going to have that bandage on my arm for the entirety of this? Let's see what's in here. Ooh, sniper ammo. Nice. There's nothing wrong. All right, we need better athleticism. We need to work on our cardio game. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Give us, gives a chance to automatically avoid an attack that would have damaged you. Certain attacks cannot be evaded this way. Hells, yeah. Let's, I, I, I enjoy not being hit. Stamina recovery speed increased. Oh, those are both good. Hell yeah. We're going to be a freaking uh, triathlon athlete right over here. Triathlonist, whatever the frick the proper noun for that is. 
What do the numbers mean, Mason? Man, Black Ops 1 is still my favorite Call of Duty by a mile, just, just because of the story. It's not like some freaking revolutionary piece of narrative, but it's the most, maybe I don't want to say cohesive out of the entire series, but it's the most interesting, that's for damn sure. All right, and back into, I was going to say the real world, but this is not the real world. <laughs> It is infinitely more real than in the little mirror world. I Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. We have to go back to the mirror world. I forgot. There was that new door, uh, which is kind of like a little set of mini games that you can partake in in order to get more, um, more resources and whatnot. Uh, very hard to do if you're playing on console, I would know, because I've played this on every system. <laughs> But uh, much easier on PC, because it is just pure target practice. What the hell is this? It's a chance to test your skills. Step right up and try your luck, detective. This is insane. <laughs> You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. No need to worry about ammunition in here. Because, you know, we're, we're trying to save our daughter, Lily, and solve this whole thing, but we have time for this. Start. Boom. Yeah, so much harder to, to do with a controller. Don't shoot the nurse. She is a nice lady. She's very helpful, that one. Nope. There we go. Freaking nailed it. You're the best around, detective. And nothing's ever gonna keep me down. <laughs> I was just gonna do that joke. I freaking did it for me. Oh, damn, we got hella... got hella points out of that. We're totally gonna grind this shit. Um, difficulty level... What happens if we just go for the max one? So I know there, there's a there's an ability you can get which really isn't viable until like New Game Plus just because of like how much it costs. But you can slow down time. Um, but let, let's oh no these all have separate tiers like they don't necessarily go on top of each other. So let's just see what we can pull off. Shit. Uh, I think this is the same one as the free one. The same setup, at least. We're gonna at least do these just to get the little Hell rewards. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, I guess that was... Okay, we already got those, never mind. So that was a waste. Uh, normal. So this is a bit more complicated, I guess. I should really fix my weapon. Damn, you guys are moving hella fast now. What the? F okay, I, I didn't hit one. Want. There we go. Maybe I should get my weapon sway. And nothing's ever gonna keep. Oh really? That wasn't just a like a one-time thing. He's gonna repeat it multiple times. Oh, we got three thirty. We're almost there to um to gain the ultimate headshot spree. Um, you know what? I am. Now, going to invest points into the weapon sway. That is now a viable thing to go for. You look like you could use some help, detective. Let's upgrade. Hey, thank you for the follow, Sinful Knight. And we have hit the uh, weekly follower goal for this week, so thank you. That is incredibly appreciated. That makes me very, very happy. 
Ah, damn it, we're still short of getting the steady hands, too. And now she's gonna just constantly chastise me for, you should spend more points in combat. I'm just like, I can't. I, I am poor. I invested my resources poorly. <laughs> oh, I, I love those, uh... Those emojis. Are, are they're not emojis. My brain's not working right now. Those emotes. Let's see. Hard. We can get weapon parts, herbs, and green gel. Let's see how we do. One, two, three. Shit. That's a rat. Oh! You can slow down time. This helps a lot. And of course, no enemies pop up while I have the slow down time ability. They're being really sneaky with these now. Whoa! That guy was fast. Let's see, uh, you gotta play this been sitting on the shelf. It is really good. This is an incredibly fun game. Sweet, I got all those. And I guess let's do the very hard because we can get some more rewards. Then that'll be the it for the gallery part. Okay, that was probably too early to use that. Oh well. Damn it, I not doing great right now. Shoot. Where's that mouse? Man, they were not kidding when they said this one's very hard. I don't know how you would do this with a controller. This is still got it. Freaking insane. Okay, so I didn't I think I missed out on one of those. Four thousand for that is a lot of green gel. Let's try that one more time. Because there's some stuff I could have definitely done better, like pretty easily. Okay, let's use it here. Still a better usage than last time, that's for sure. Now I kind of know what to expect, I guess. Damn it. Still missed that one. Oh, the rat. That's an important one to get. I think I should be good now, though. Yep, just barely made it over the mark. That's perfect. You may very. There we go. And then there's this other chain attack mode, which I am not very good at. It's like Candy Crush on crack, basically. So you have to like link the colors and whatnot. Um, I'm not very good at it. Shoots. A lot of explosions, at least. Shit. Penal okay, I guess I can't shoot those ones. Plus it's timed, unlike like rate. Is regular Candy Crush timed? I guess. Maybe? I don't know. I don't play Candy Crush. I'm very bad at these kinds of games. I get too eager.
Oh shit, I'm running out of time! Damn it. Let's see how I did. Your efforts are admirable, but your results... Damn, she's straight up talking shit on me. <laughs> I got some stuff, though, so I'm happy with that, I guess. Um, let's kick that down. But, yeah, so basically done with those little mini-games. They're not super extensive. Um, overall, not insanely intrusive, either. I see so that's good. My services again. Much harder if you're playing with the controller. It's kind of not fair in that regard. It is super unbalanced for that. Granted, there is a slow down time ability you get all the way down the combat tree, but it costs a lot of resources. Well, let's go ahead and get these steady hand ones. Uh, let's see, what can we get? Less kickback. Okay, let's let's make our guns super freaking steady. Uh, we don't need melee damn. Oh, we don't even have enough to afford shit anyway, so let's just back out of that. Alright, uh, oh, you know what? We gotta do the bench. Uh, up in upgrades, we can finally get the ultimate handgun critical. So we had, we now have a 60% sh chance of any headshot of being an insta-kill, so. Hell yeah. Very important to get that as early on as possible. So let's go ahead and save. Even though it feels like we just saved not too long ago. Oh well, though. Alright, back into the slightly more reality world dead that one. <laughs> it makes me very sad every time we can't just yeet a door. But we're going over here. And now there's a whole bunch of monsters all over the place, so... We still have plenty of things to fight. I guess you could grind out these fights if you want more resources, but... Um, I've already done that. I don't know why I'm going this way. Oh! I didn't even know this guy was in here, what the fuck? And there's an item. Answer me, dude! Does this only appear at this point? Or did I just totally miss out on it? I've never, I've never seen this. For what I've done. Please forgive me for what I've done. Please forgive me. Oh my God, please. I know I've sinned, but not this. Please, I won't sin again. Please forgive me. I, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for what I've done. Hello? Please forgive me. Are you okay? Please forgive me. He's totally gonna turn, right? There's no way he's not. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is so good. I am in love with that. You alive, dude? Holding out some modicum of help of of uh of hope for you. Maybe you can live with that stuff going on on your face. Oh shit! Okay, now there's three of them. Like, oh, that upgrade's already doing work. Where's the third one? It was three. I guess they just dipped for whatever reason. 
syringe. Huh. Looks like the Padre had some fight in them. Yes, so. Uh, or he turned at least. Oh, I have an axe. I need to use that. Go, oh, got some green gel. Eat. Still someone in the area. Okay. I guess it's a good thing I did decide to come through here. Got a bottle. There is. Oh, that's a stabby, stabby freaking knife lady right over there. Let's see if I can sneak up on her. Even though I can't see shit right now. See your silhouette if I do this, I think. I just need her to get distracted. How'd you not? Okay, there we go. Damn, she just freaking yeeted across. And there we go. That was enough to down her. <laughs> That's typically a much harder ordeal. Did she drop goop? Did I grab the goop? No goop. Oh. Oh, no, 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 nope, 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 nope. That is spooky, lady. I wish not. Or she's in the way of directly where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, let's see if we can just circle around. And she's gone. No more spooky lady for right now. Which I am sure as hell glad for. Something right here. Bottle. Just like most of my adult life, bottles solve all of my problems. <laughs> That's not true. Don't rely on bottles. <laughs> Shit. That is a lot of enemies in one place. Ooh. These harpoons are freaking beautiful for stealth, though. Let's go for the enemies that are not super busy. Oh man, these harpoons are so good for stealth. This is insane. Let's see if I can get this one too. These is so insanely overpowered. Holy crap. These are freaking stealth murder machines. This one's too busy to even notice what's going on all his freaking uh, comrades over here. I really need to start using the axes though, because these, these are two axes that I could be using for like two free kills, and I can't pick them up because you can only carry one at a time. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Uh, yeah, they are most definitely in trouble. Don't be a hero, Sebastian. She's not gonna live anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Um. That was the last of my harpoons. Let me instead. Shit, she's come around the corner. How'd you not hear that? There we go. That works. And these ones, I believe, are too occupied. Oh shit, no, no, no. One of them is still able to do shit. He's gonna turn around right now. 
Stealth that one. And stealth this one. They don't even notice a flashlight. There we go. See, Sebastian is a very helpful lad. It's okay, I took care of them. Please open the door. I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, he unlocked it. Hello, random lady. You saved me. Doesn't even have a name. Her name is literally okay. woman. Calm down. What's going on out there? How am I supposed to know? If anybody should be asking what's going on, it's me. Look, I just got here. I'm even more confused than you are. Oh, yeah? What's your name? It's Sebastian. Sebastian Castellanos. Well, then you're not as confused as I am. I can't even remember my own name. I don't know what day it is. I don't even know where I am. God, what's happening to me? Just try to remember anything you can. One minute, I was in that office being interviewed by that Asian doctor lady. The next thing I know, I'm in this Asian. town I've never been to. Oh, that's one of the uh, crew and people. I've never seen, and there's this guy who says he's my husband telling me to run. I'm not married, mister. None of this is real. It can't be. So yeah, Mobius is taking people unwillingly. Uh, wiping their memories, apparently, too. I just want those resources. Can you get out of the way, please? Please? I, I can't get them from the other side. I just want Let those. Ask you something. I'm looking for my daughter. She's six years old. I I haven't seen any kids out there. Damn it. Six years old? Poor thing. Me too. So you just... Hours. The last thing I remember was being in... What off? I needed some money, so I answered an ad looking for people to be in a sleep study. Oh, it this is how they on, got her. A physical, and then that Asian lady asked me weird questions all day, and I don't understand what's happening. Does the name Mobius mean anything to you? I don't think so. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Stay in here and keep... I'm not going in, but thanks. You need anything from the house? Let me ask you something. Wait. No, I don't want to ask you anything. I I'm trying to end this conversation. <gasps> she moved out of the way. I can finally grab the stuff. Anything in here? Anything? Oh, smoke powder. I hear kind of creaking and groaning. Where? I wish I could do more for her. But finding Lily is the best thing for everyone oh. here. We're getting hiding in a freaking uh, car. That's what I get for playing with surround sound headphones. Oh, great. Okay. See, it's a good thing we cleared those other bodies from out of there, though. You see, I can... Oh, did that do it in one hit? Now, I should have been doing that this whole time. What am I doing trying to get all these freaking stealth kills for? You're alive. Not anymore. <laughs> I saw your glowy eyes. You can't trick me. Go. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Is there a crafting table here? Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill. And he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me. And it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for a briefing before sending you in. But we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. Arguably worse. 
My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. That is a lot of details, to be quite honest I'm with on you. My way to City Hall. I'll call you later. Uh, there's no workbench in here, but we can go to Mirrorland to uh, use the workbench over here. Because I would like to at least craft some more harpoons, because they are incredibly helpful. Plus, they only use one resource that nothing else seems to use, so... Might as well. Exit mirror world. Don't need to use the coffee pots, but we will save. Alright, and now we're going to be using the marrow. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Even though we already used a computer to earlier to get the shotgun. Uh, technically, you don't have to run around in that. It's just like a temporary, like, little loading area. Just to help stave off, like, a, um, generic loading screen or something. But I'm playing on a NVMe SSD, so... It is of no concern to me. Arguably, uh, a regular ass loading screen would be more seamless as technology advances. But I've already got on length about that, like on the podcast and stuff, so I won't do that whole spiel here. Hello, dead dude. Can we confirm? Seems like things didn't yep. go so well down here either. You are indeed dead. I can confirm this. I just realized why does this pistol only carry six bullets? It's not a six shooter. <laughs> not a revolver or anything like that. Oh, this is a map of Union, I believe. That is cool. Oh, resources. Fallen up. Oh, he lost his head. It is. It has been misplaced at some undisclo undisclosed location. I imagine that's where he got smacked up against, then got his corpse tossed away. There are definitely enemies around here. Please don't be around that corner. Nope. God, I hear stuff, but I don't see stuff. Need a electric charge to get that open. I think I have. Yep. There we go. Got shotgun shells, and I believe that's our max carrying capacity, so I'm better go ahead and start using this somewhat uh, liberally. You're alive. You are totally alive. <laughs> now you're not. Uh, enemies in there. Um, unknown resonance in that room. Oh, another signal. 
Fallen Mobius Operative, Warden Crossbow, Ammo Pouch. Hell yeah. Is there anything else to open around here? Just a lot of enemies tearing into other bodies, apparently. There is a ladder up here. And... Are you gonna get back up also? Do you have red eyes? Are you a black dragon? You're alive. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, I love doing that preemptively because you can tell. You just like know which ones are gonna get up. All in the eyes. Ouch, upgraded. I will take it. Alright, so we gotta go interact with this door, I believe. Emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect. Lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your communicator. Might as well give it a try. Let's see, we gotta get this waveform looking similar. Oh, almost got it. There we go. Emergency lockdown deactivated. Please wait for system reboot of each Oh attacks. shit, we're gonna have a lot of enemies to fight right now though. They're all gonna come pouring in. Shit. Good thing we got that headshot upgrade. Research ring emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Shit. Shit. Back up. Reposition. Over here. <laughs> Three headshots in a row, nice. That's beautiful. Security annex emergency lockdown disengaged. Oh, that is a knife lady. Nope, 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 nope. Shit. Told you gonna come running through. Come on, knife lady. <laughs> you teleported too. Oh! Bye bye, knife lady. Uh, she's freaking terrifying. That specific oh, enemy is so terrifying. I need to conserve ammo. System reboot complete. Emergency lockdown fully disengaged. Got some gunpowder. Can't open that. Got a pipe. We can use that to make a harpoon. Oh, and uh, shotgun ammo. We can't grab all because we're at max capacity. Probably should use a shotgun more, but I did not. That's where we're supposed to go. That's not where I'm going to go right now. You know, I totally forgot. We had a second variation on the handgun. But I'm not using it because I'm not sure if it's, um... If it has, like, the same stats and whatnot. So let's explore over here. Weapon parts. Actually, you know what? I'm going to find that question out because I would like to probably use that laser sight gun. Let's see, evil within two does laser 
Blazer pistol, pistol versus regular. Handgun upgrades apply to both, so it really feels like we just snagged a laser sights. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it carries over the upgrades. Um, but that's just like one source, because like a, if it's not doing the same shit, I, I don't want to use it. Okay, yeah, it does carry over the upgrades. Cool. Um, let's give it a shot, I guess. I, people are saying like it uses like a zoom. Um, but I would like to try it more accurate. That's not the way to go. Over here's the way to go. Yeah, it definitely zooms in a bit more. It's more accurate. Might not be good for super close encounters. But we shall see. Yeet. Jesus, the smell. My cat is constantly begging for attention right now. <laughs> Let's go down. My dude is unwilling to slide down here. That's not even laziness. He just it, it may the lazy way would be to slide down. He's dedicated to his craft of slowly going down ladders, I suppose. Shotgun ammo, but we have too much. Been using my pistol too much. My pistol is too damn good. Let's see, and what is. Okay, I don't see why we'd have to go back over there, but that works. Ah, uh, we can't eat it. I enjoy this eating. Is the Thanks, O'Neil. I'd never make it through without this thing. Oh yeah, this game has a first-person uh, mode. That means I can't rely on my well, you can play the, the entire game in first-person, but this is like the first-person segment. So we gotta be sneaky sneaky over here. I don't know why you have to play this part in first person though. It's not terribly great. Just don't notice me, my dude. Bye bye. The Audi. This also feels more finicky too. Like, yeah, the first person mode is cool and whatnot. You can toggle in the options, but this design, this was designed as a third person game, so you are much better off playing it in third person. Hi, rat. Oh, we can swing at the rat. Can't hit the rat. Got a bottle though. Too many bottles. An electric lock. Damn. Well, gotta follow the trail. Shit, and there's a freaking gas dude. Great. Around the corner right here. That sucks. Because right where we have to go, over here.
to. I can't even see if he's gonna. <laughs> nope. Nope. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I don't think it can mess with me while I'm doing this puzzle, so that's fortunate. I am very grateful for that. Shit. Run, Sebastian. Run, dude. I upgraded your sprint for a damn good reason. <laughs> Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank God. That mask smelled terrible. Don't just leave it. You should keep it, dude. What if you have to go back through here for whatever reason? That is horrible planning. You need a future proof for this. Oh, and we have a lock over there. Got some syringes. Really gotta start using the shotgun. Expansion and data goals. With the success of the new recruitment drive, we are nearing our data goals. Each citizen of Union adds 100 exabytes of STEM storage and processing ability. 2 million exabytes of storage are needed to activate the wireless STEM. Given projected growth, we should reach that goal within a matter of months. A wireless STEM will eliminate the need for costly STEM pods and aid us in our goal. Phase 2, total STEM immersion for the general populace. The Unity Cerebral Chips will serve to mark and protect Mobius operatives from the Phase 2 signal, which will be sent out via STEM's wireless transmitters to all corners of the planet. They are literally going to get the entire planet under this thing. <laughs> yes, not good. That's a bad plan. That door? Over here. I imagine we're supposed to go through that one. I want to go the wrong way to find stuff. Here. Oh, yep. I am rewarded ignoring my objective. And yeah, more shotgun ammo. Why is he giving me so much shotgun ammo? I don't even need it down here. Does it not trust me? Does it have trust issues with me? I, I can handle myself without the use of shotgun ammo, thank you very much. I upgraded my pistola. Eat. That is a thing over there. I think that's where we have to go. The collapse caused a gas leak in the access tunnels and I left my respirator on the APC. Hello? Can you hear me? It's Watkins. Watkins? What's going on? The collapse is happening faster than we predicted. And now it's affecting the marrow, too. Those things are trying to breach. You gotta help me. We're secure on this side. Get over here. I can't! The collapse caused a gas leak in the access tunnels, and I left my respirator on the APC. Can't you send a team through the tunnels with a respirator for me? Sorry. We can't risk the personnel just to help you. Damn. <laughs> and yeah, this guy died. There's his decapitated body just chilling. That sucks. I mean, logical decision, I guess, but still, damn. Doing my dude dirty. See. Eat? Yes. Here it is. My way back into Union. Eating is always the best solution in all situations in life. Oh. Open that. Open parts. Should upgrade my shotgun's firepower, that's for sure. You'll never get ahead. <laughs> Let's 
see. Union City Hall. Oh, there's another point over here. Over yonder. Got some coffee. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and end the stream soon, just because the actual save points between expeditions are a little bit few and far between. But I would like to, um, I want to grab this Mobius thing because it's so, I know I guess it's not even in view right here. It's close to like right here, but the second I kind of move away, it's gone. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was just going to do some upgrades and then we'll, we'll go ahead and end for the night. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I didn't get any more slides, did I? Let me, let me check with Senor Kitty Cat. Insult. The cat left me. We have no, we have no more slides. Sorry to kick you off, Kitty Cat, for no damn reason. I feel like a piece of shit now. <laughs> All right, weapon upgrades. Man, these upgrades for firepower for the pistol are insane. And as in they cost a crazy exorbitant amount. Um, we should be focusing on firepower for the shotgun. Uh, not necessarily so much the critical. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just going to save on that. There we go. Let's see what up to uh, brain goop upgrades we can get. Relax, detective. How may I assist you? By letting me get some cool stuff. My dude is over there. I can open two of the <laughs> more shotgun ammo. I can't. What's worse than one kind of ammo I can't grab because I have too much of it? Shotgun ammo. What's worse than the exact same thing? More of it. It's... Thank you for the generosity, but I literally cannot take any more of it. Jesus Christ. Um... Da -da -da -da. We haven't upgraded health at all. Let's get that going, I suppose. Um... Yeah, might as well. Whatever. I want to be a little, little bit of everything. There we go. All right, there we go. So all we have left to do is save, and then we are good to go. All right, let's go down. Seventeen. All right. Um. Yeah, let's go and go and do the stream for tonight. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out for the Resident Evil Village demo, and then hanging out for the Evil Sin too. I've been having a good time. Um. Thank you for the raid. Thank you to Corey. Um. Thank you everyone for hanging out, watching, having a good time. Hopefully you had fun. Um, the next stream is tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. PST. That's for the Game Session Podcast, where we go over gaming news, just what we've been doing, chewing the shit and whatnot, as you've probably been seeing by all the graphics flying across like every other minute. Um, uh, you can follow me on all the socials to keep up to date with me. The best place to do so would be over on Twitter. I've been on a bit of a... I've been tweeting a lot lately. It's, it's, it's a lot of memes. It's a lot of random thoughts and games and, and whatnot. You can find the links to all my stuff down in the link tree down below. It includes YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Discord, um, Medium, podcast links, all that. You can find all that there. So, yeah, streaming tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. PST. 
I'm going to put together my stream schedule for next week. Um, basically, as soon as I'm done with this right now. But the plan is to shoot to stream on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That's probably what I'm going to go and go do. Um, but with that, thank you for hanging out, and I will see everybody next time. Bye-bye.